despised, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again of the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From death we shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are going to do this ministry, thanking God for our sister, and praying that God will have mercy on her and upon the children that she has left and the entire family. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. They are daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. Oh, our good Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead us souls to heaven, and especially those who are in most need of their mercy. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us to have a cost to be. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. this mystery, we pray that as we are all gathered here for the passing away of our sister, our mother, our cousin, our relative, our friend that we met here, that as Jesus Christ resurrected, may she, wherever she is now, resurrect and sit at his bosom, that may God find a place to forgive all her sins and place her just by his bosom, so that she will sit there and intercede for all of us that he has left behind, especially the immediate family. Our oh, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as 
free for me those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The thing that they can take us to heaven, they cannot. So, because we limit God so much, especially over here that we are, we limit God because of the things that we do. So I want to beg each and every one of God, each and every one of us, give time to Him. Especially when we are going to bed. Go down on your knees and say, God, this is me. This is me. I cannot. Oh, there is a beautiful home. Home. There is a beautiful home. Home. There is a beautiful home in heaven. Beautiful home. Home. There is a beautiful one for the righteous ones. Beauty. Beauty. There is a beautiful home in heaven. Beautiful home. There is a beautiful home for the righteous ones. To prepare us a place, we have another home in view. A sister has gone to prepare us a place, we have another home in view. In view, we have another home in view. In view, we have another home in view. Oh dear. To prepare us a place, we have another home in view. A mother has come to prepare us a place, we have another home in view. In view.
But unfortunately, when I came, I saw death wolfing around Sister Clara, but I could not help. All I could do was to tell her, Sister, let your spirit free. I saw a woman dying in pain. Well, she fought her American view fight, and she was still fighting even as a dead body. Let the will of God be done. Amen. If it will still come to pass, it will come to pass. My took some people, I call you people my people because I've met, I've met you people before. When I look at that table, I'm scared. I'm asking who are those that are going to eat it? All because of you. I say thank you. To my grandfather, thank you for leading us up to this time. We continue to live by your words. My uncles and aunts, which we've not seen over decades, Sister Clara has brought us to a new beginning. Just like the question goes, what is going through your mind? Sister Clara is lying in the mortuary. Today is her turn, but that's a road none of us can skip. It's going to be my 10th Sunday, it's going to be a 10. Are you prepared? That's the question. I can say, somehow, Sister Clara had the chance to say, Lord, I'm sorry. But you and I, we may not have that chance. So what's left? Let's get ourselves prepared. That's the only message I can pass. <sighs> God. All I have to say, thank you. Thank you, Tucson. I'm so proud of you people. When I saw Sister Clara today, I saw a smiling woman. And I hope she's going to smile for all of us tomorrow while she gets into her own home. Thank you. As you come for my own, you they cry. Oh. Now so too I go cry for your own day. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. For your own day, oh. If you come for my own, you be support, oh. Now, so so I go support for your own day, oh. I don't know if he has something to say. I took the microphone because I, I feel like the food may get sour. We know the weather here. Let's open and eat, even though we wait for people to talk if they must talk. So my senior brother is there. Who is the father of all? Oh, when trouble, when trouble comes my way, I praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. I, first of all, I really want to express a profound appreciation to Christ the King Choir. Nature is funny. We have uh, our sister Francisca Mandomega members of the Christ the King Choir sitting on this same spot. And I remember the day before she died, her, but there, there was a hospital bed here. And this same group would pray, singing like we are singing today. And the following day, 
They took her to the hospital and she died. And we have the same group sitting in this same house on the same position, singing, pray for her the day before she will be ready to rest. I think there is no family bigger than Christ the King choir that Clara met here in Tucson. You, you all supported her to fight the spiritual war. The second thing I want to say is uh, to the local community. We did not intend this evening to look like this. But when we went to the meeting house and the, the BLM people in Tucson, they say we cannot have a door evening before the funeral. And they imposed this evening. And they are sponsoring this evening. A lot of people can say they thank the attendants, but the people you see here from the BLM and the food you see here, nobody can be strong alone. You are only as strong as the people around you support you. Thank you, Tucson. Thank you so much. For those who are coming from out of state, please thank you. I don't know where. Um, you saw Emilia, that was Angelina crying, the junior sister of Sister Clara, and I know Brother Innocent is out there. Please, let's make this a happy evening. We have animation coming. She is gone. We need to usher her happily to her resting place. I would like to call, since we might not have an opportunity to have a reunion here, uh, Sister Clara was an Okoyo ex student, and they too stood by her. I was really impressed, and they are here. And I don't think it's difficult to know who is an Opsan because they, when they walk in here, the difference was clear. I know we have a busy day tomorrow. There will be time to talk, but I will just crave the indulgence of the Upsal president uh, to come and say a word uh, to the people seated here before we have dinner and then see how we can continue the evening with animation. Again, thank you all. We appreciate you taking the time to come here today, especially on a Friday evening. Can we can we have the president of uh, Opsan, please? Good evening, everybody. My name is Evelyn K. Anyochebe. I came all the way from Hansi, Alabama to come celebrate the very short life that my sister Lee we are all from Queen of the Rosary College, Okoye Mafe, and we are absent. I personally did not know Sister Clara. I never met her. I never spoke with her. But because she went to Queen of the Rosary College, Okoye Mafe, I stand here as the president of United Opsa USA to condole with the family and my fellow sisters standing right here. It is a tradition that we bury our own. Sister Clara was sick for a very long time. She joined our association shortly after she made it to the US. And we never had the opportunity to ever see her. We never had the opportunity to ever really spoke with her. Sister Rosemary here present was her saving grace. I would say her saving grace because when she found out that Sister Clara was here, she immediately registered her. And we knew from that point that we had a sister that was sick 
and we decided to help the best we knew how. We put some money together and sent to Brother Pascal so that they could help with her treatment. We did the best we could. And like we all know, there's nothing better than your best. We did our best, but Sister Clara, by God's grace, by the will of God, still left us. We cannot question God. As Christians, we know that death is evident. Everybody knows that we are going knows that they're gonna die one day. We just don't know when. We don't know who's gonna be first. We don't know who's gonna be the last. But we just pray that when it is our time to go, we go in the Lord and with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I will ask everybody to stand for a little prayer. The prayer is going to be in the form of Your name is Jehovah Your name is Elohim I'm the mention of your name Every knee must bow I'm the mention of your name Every tongue must confess that you are the covenant keeping love. There is no one like you, Father. Covenant keeping love. There is no one like you. Of 
your name. Every knee must bow at the mention of your name. Every tongue must confess that you are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, Father. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. To the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming out tonight. And let's celebrate the short life of our sister. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, uh, there is no particular uh, order with uh, dinner. Uh,
abusé ça mon. Mais abusé ça. Mais abusé ça. Non. Mais abusé ça. Vous tous faites les one différence. Ah. Non non.